A-L-M. Welcome back to our Pamela's Pro Workout video series, where we take a closer look at the more unique and powerful features of the Pam Pro. Today we'll explore the generative sequencing capabilities for both pitch sequences and beats. The basis of generative sequencing with the PAM is either random CV for pitch sequences or probability for beats. When combined with the powerful loop parameter, these sources of randomness transform into repeating sequences that can be altered and shaped by the other parameters. Let's take a look at the basics of generative sequences. Here we are triggering a basic synth voice by a time spore clock from output 8. Let's set output 4 to generate a random CV, then patch it to the volt per octave input of the TASM O. We'll increase the speed of the random to times 4 as well. To start shaping the random into more of a sequence, let's enable the pitch quantizer where we will lock the CV to notes in the selected scale. We can lower the octave span to a more pleasant range by decreasing the level of the CV. Now let's make the random stream of notes into a sequence. To do so, we'll engage the loop parameter. Any number of beats up to 64 can be set, looping anything being generated by the output. Create a different loop by returning to zero, then setting the number of beats once more. If the loop size is increased, decreasing it back to less beats produces the same loop as before. With the loop locked, we can still adjust any of the other parameters, allowing the sequence to be shaped but not fully changed. Let's tweak the level and the offset to alter the notes in the sequence. Finally, let's generate a new, similar sequence of notes without adjusting any parameters and keeping our loop size set. To do so, we'll scroll to the reset page and select Seeds. Anytime the seed is reset, a new stream of random CV is generated. Because the level, loop and quantization settings stay the same, only the notes of the sequence are changed. Generative sequencing by looping and shaping random CV is an interesting alternative to traditional step-based note sequencing. Using a similar method to notes, we can also create generative rhythmic sequences. Let's start by triggering a kick sound from output one. We'll increase the clock speed and decrease the probability of each pulse firing.
Like before, if we set a loop, the skipping of pulses will repeat like a rhythmic sequence. Let's set output 2 to times 4 and use it to trigger a clap sound. We'll repeat the same process of decreasing probability and setting a 4 beat loop to create a pattern. We'll continue adding drum sounds and doing the same thing to produce patterns on outputs 3 and 4. A higher probability setting will of course result in more trigger hits in the pattern. Like with random CV sequences, we can influence and shape what a looped output will do. A lower probability creates a pattern with less trigger hits. With the four outputs looped, we have now created a beat entirely from random skips using probability. Using the same method as before, we can generate a new, similar pattern by resetting the seeds on each output. We'll start with output 1. Immediately, a new kick pattern is generated. Using the next out shortcut, we can quickly jump to the reset page on output 2. We'll continue on and reset outputs 3 and 4 as well. We can continue resetting the seeds until the desired pattern is generated. Using probability to build beats is a great way to quickly generate patterns with pan. Great for jamming or adding less predictable variations to a familiar pattern. Thanks for watching this introductory look at the random and generative sequencing capabilities of Pamela's Pro Workout. In part two of this video, we'll take a look at triggering the seed reset to automatically generate new beats and melodies every four bars. Subscribe to ALM TV for the latest releases in our PAM Pro series. For more information on Pamela's Pro Workout and the rest of the ALM line, please visit busycircuits.com.